What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV. Kane's all, Kane's all day. If you rock it with the you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on the video. And we're going to talk about it today, ladies and gentlemen, because the culture is changing here at the Miami Hurricanes. But first, we got to give a big shout out to former Kane, Charleston Rambo. With the fourth selection of the skills position in the XFL draft, the Orlando Guardians select. And what will be one of the coolest last names in the history of pro football, Charleston Rambo, wide receiver, University of Miami, the U, baby. I am an unbiased owner. Let's do this. <laughs> Charleston Rambo drafted to the XFL. Wish he had a couple more years at Miami. I think we definitely could use him. But I'm glad that, that one, they have the XFL for players to try to get to the NFL. I really hope the league works out. But also for Charleston Rambo, hey, we root for you, big dog. We hope you do great things at the XFL. And then we can see you on Sundays. We'll be cheering for you. Now, to the state of this program and where it's at right now, you've probably seen it, but Mario Cristobal was asked about parents tweeting at the coaching staff. Remember, there's been two different parents tweeting at coaching staff, at the assistants, talking about that they're unhappy. And here's what Mario had to say. Well, I'm a parent myself, and uh, I think it's important to teach our, our own children to handle stuff like uh, adults in a face-to-face -face manner. Um, as, a, as it relates to posting on social media, I don't, I was raised very different than anything that would relate to anything such as that. But uh, a parent is very uh, free and welcome to come and pick up their son if they're not happy with uh, their playing time here at the University of Miami. And, I guess that's my philosophy. That's my coach. That is my coach. Listen, he basically said it. He basically, he, he, he's, he's speaking 100% fact. Because I posted the video about, I posted two videos about the parents calling out the coaching staff. And I got comments saying, well, Grant, what if they talked to the coaches and the coaches went back on their word? What if they, they are mistreating the players? And let's say... They're mistreating the players. Let's say as a father, you're unhappy with how your son is being treated. He's a freshman. Right now is the best time to take advantage of players moving different colleges through the transfer portal. Then why not just tell them, hey, hold down your obligation to Miami and then we can dip at the end of the year. Because when you go to the timeline and you make it public, to me, that only hurts the player. And if you and if you truly, if you truly feel like your son is not being treated right, transfer a portal. So listen, Mario is telling it like it is, and I love it. I love it. I, I was I was excited, and um, we're gonna see where it goes from there, but. Just off him saying it, I can tell there's going to be a couple players in that transfer portal. And listen, the transfer portal isn't always a bad thing. You know, if your son, if you want your son to leave because he's being mistreated, that's not always a bad thing. Maybe he could go somewhere and excel, but you don't have to go to the timeline and put all of Miami's dirty laundry out. I will stand by that statement. Now, you know, the big thing about, you know, Mario said, talking to people face to face in life. You have to learn how to control your emotions. And according to multiple reports today, Thad Franklin was upset and he walked out of practice. He was upset and he walked out of practice. He was upset and he walked out of practice. Thad Franklin, Thad Franklin, a guy who I, who I wanted Miami to recruit, who I wanted him to come to Miami. He is a competitor. He wants to play. He wants to help his team. So I'm sure when they put Don Chaney in front of him, all that got mad, all that got built up, and he dipped. And he's wrong for that. And there's going to be a lot of people that talk about, well, you got to look at it. The players are going through a lot, and they're losing, and they want this bad. And Mario Cristobal says what? How you do anything is how you do everything. Isn't that what he say? How you do this is how you'll do that. So they put Don Chaney in over you and you respond with 
leaving practice. What message is that sending Mario Cristobal? To me, I'm assuming that Mario looks at it as this is the guy who can't control his emotions. And if he'll do this in practice, what's going to happen when it's fourth down? We need a yard. The pressure's on, you know, will he be able to uh, uh, get that one yard? Will he be able to be disciplined enough to make that block? How you do anything is how you do everything. And the message that Thad sent is not a good one. And Thad has every right to get up and leave. You work at your job. You got every right to get up and leave that job. But you best believe when you do that, there's going to be consequences to you doing that. For Thad, those consequences will probably be, probably won't play again. People will question your character. But those, that's what happens when you don't control your emotions and you make those type of decisions. You make a decision and now he has to live with that. As of right now, there's no word of him being in the transfer portal or anything like that. He is still a Miami Hurricane. I still think that this is a young player who is a physical runner, who has areas to improve, that I think Miami really can use him because Mario wants physical running backs. But I don't think he wants running backs who are going to walk out of his practice. So a lot of people are talking about Thad Franklin as if He's already gone as he's already off the team. And as I said, that's what comes when you make decisions like this. That's the kind of consequences. He's still a Miami hurricane. I'm rooting for the young buck, but this is a situation where you just gotta, you, you can't do it. You can't do it because this is something that will stick, stick to you. So I hate that he did it. This is going to be a big lesson that he's going to learn. So they put Don Chaney in over him. So hopefully, hey, hopefully Chaney's getting healthy. Hopefully the return of the Don, he's getting better. But man, the culture is starting to change and I love it. I love it because, oh, I, I wanted to say this. I almost forgot to say this. Thad should call Jalen Knight. If I, would, if I could talk to Thad, I would say, Thad, call Jalen Knight, your running back mate, and talk to him because Jalen Knight went from coming in as a a play a playmaker to making a couple mistakes to getting his getting benched to him staying the course battling fighting getting the opportunity and he showed up and showed out and now he's ready to go and Mario Cristobal is the main one in the press conferences praising Jalen Knight after the game on the Joe Rose show in today's Mario Cristobal has become his biggest cheerleader because Jalen Knight, his back was against the wall. And what did he do? He, he, he kept continuously coming to work. And then we saw one of the best games that Jalen Knight has played over a hundred yards, touchdowns, blocking, running, holding on to the ball. So if I was that Franklin, I would call Jalen Knight and say, bruh, how did you do it? How did you deal with it? How should I deal with it? I hope he calls him. But as of right now, Mario Cristobal says, listen, if you think your son is not getting treated right, come get him. And it was reported that Thad Franklin walked out of practice. What do y'all think about these developments, man? Y'all let me know. My opinion, the culture is changing, and I love it.